For 200 years, people all over the world have been obsessed with solving Antarctica's secrets. But before I tell you what some of them have been working on and some of the stuff that they've found, I need to explain what makes Antarctica such an amazing and unique environment in the first place, especially when it comes to science. So Antarctica is the most pristine environment that we've got on the planet. So if we want to look at how climate is changing, you've got to go and look in the most pristine place so we can get a baseline to see what's actually really happening without the noise of pollution. Unlike the North Pole, where all the ice is actually floating in the water, the South Pole is a continent, which means under all this ice is rock, an actual landmass. Antarctica actually holds 90% of the planet's ice. So if all this ever melted, well, that would be catastrophic. If all of Antarctica was to melt, sea levels would rise by about 60 metres. But that amount of fresh water that went into the oceans as well is going to change uh, the habitat for ecosystems and it's also going to change um, the environmental characteristics across the planet. With global temperatures rising, it's important scientists understand just how quickly the ice is melting. That's what Dr Ben Galton fenzi and Maddie Gamble-Rosevere are doing. They're focusing on the Totten Glacier, which is an ice shelf near Casey Station. It drains a lot of ice, so a lot of ice moves through that glacier towards the ocean, and because uh, it's changing. To see what's under the ice, they're using mini explosives to set off sound waves which bounce off different surfaces, kind of like the sonar a bat uses. We want to know what's underneath there, whether it's soft and malleable uh, or whether it's really hard and grippy, because that alters how the ice moves across it. Now, while Dr Ben and Maddie are thinking about the future, Scientists like Dr Taz Van Omen are more concerned with the past. He's also a glaciologist, but his specialty is ice cores. An ice core is a cylinder of ice drilled from glaciers or ice sheets. It's kind of like a natural time capsule because it holds heaps of information about what Earth was like years and years ago. So the ice in Antarctica is really made up of snowflakes that fell thousands of years ago and as the snowflakes build up one on top of the other, they actually trap things that get rained out or snowed out from the atmosphere. It can be dust, uh, it can be salt that gets blown in from the ocean far away, it can be um, compounds, chemicals from volcanoes that erupted. Ice cores have already told us a lot about what the Earth was like thousands of years ago. But we want to go back further. Dr Taz is trying to find a million year old section of ice. We know that before 800,000 years the climate was actually behaving a bit differently to what it did for the last 800,000 years. And we'd like to actually probe why it changed, what was the cause. We think maybe it's to do with CO2 in the atmosphere. That's pretty important because we know we're changing the CO2 in the atmosphere now. Drilling that deep is going to take years of work. But Dr Taz, Dr Ben and Maddie say it's more than worth it to get a little more insight into how our planet used to be and what it might look like in the future. I have children. Really what we're trying to do is understand what the future is that they're going to be able to inherit. By the year 2100, the global climate system is going to be very different from what we understand it to be now. The sooner we understand what that will look like, the better that we'll be able to adapt to that. 